So this festival, it seems you you specifically mentioned your international grand marshals. They're all women. Yes. Um, and it seems like you've really pushed like having a really diverse festival mm -hmm. of, of almost 400 performers. Yes. How did you approach doing that this year? Well, um, this year is a very different dynamic from last year. Last year for World Pride, they had over a million dollar more that we don't have for programming to to book big pop stars so uh, when I start the job I look at the budget and you know <laughs> I was freaking out a bit and then I saw this as an amazing challenge as a place for for us pride as an organization to to be a little bit more creative to say we, we can book a Lady Gaga this year but uh, that doesn't mean that we can have substance that doesn't mean that we can celebrate diversity that doesn't mean that we can have a festival everybody around the world will talk about so so this is the way that I I saw bookings uh, so we started to look around and see who we who is it that we usually don't see on a stage that could uh, be a mover or a shaker and start a good conversation Right. Um, so how did something like, say, Pussy Riot come yeah. together? Yeah. Well, Pussy Riot is, um, you know, as a, as a political uh, gay man for all my life, I've been looking at Pussy Riot and say, wow, these girls know what they're doing and they're amazing. So, uh, so uh, I saw House of Cards <laughs> season three and I saw them there and I'm like, yes, yes, that's my dream booking. So, uh, so uh, I went on Facebook, uh, I look at their real names and I sent about uh, 50 emails to different Russian hotmail addresses <laughs> and uh, everywhere I could and uh, one of them just replied and uh, we start a conversation, a very meaningful conversation about uh, why it's important to have them here and what kind of show they could do. Because Pussy Riot likes to do uh, things a bit differently, right? They will go on stage, they will perform, but we don't know exactly what they're going to do and I love this, you know. We are pride. We should uh, take some risk, and whatever they do, it's going to be great. They're pussy riot. So you're expecting them to be here for, sort of for a couple of days and maybe do some other performances, uh, or what's the plan? No, uh, the, the the plan. Is, well, the pussy riot will be here for three days. Okay. Uh, but uh, I think that the all their focus is going to be on the Sunday. They're going to lead the parade, and after they're going to perform on Young and Danda so, stage from all places, right? Like one of the most iconic places in Toronto, and you know they. A punk rock band they are they, I, I think that they're gonna make the place uh, shake quite a bit and they will have a political message as well and for me that's so important I want my pride to be fun but I want my pride to be political as well and you also have Selena Jatley who's a Bollywood yes. star yeah. is, I think that must be a first for pride is or is it do you think or uh, yeah it's probably a first for pride as well to have somebody like uh, Selena Jatley here uh, she, you know she She's a she's a Bollywood actress, uh, and she's she's just amazing. We've been uh, uh, having a lot of conversations lately, and she's super excited. She's coming for five days. She wants to do as many events as possible. She's taking this very very ser seriously, and uh, she's uh, she's truly a gay icon for the the Bollywood uh, fans. And you know, the Bollywood industry is bigger than the Hollywood industry. So for us, to having a woman like this leading our parade is a super cool international message as well. And she's a UN ambassador as well. So that's like, that's so refreshing, that's so new and that's so fun. I can't wait to meet her.